My daughter literally saved my grandma's life. Hey guys, so I'm going to tell you about my grandma, which I don't know what video I'm going to throw this into or if I'm going to throw this in a video at all because I have to kind of get her permission to share it because my family is pretty conservative. So just a little backstory before I completely get into this. When I was in, I think, middle school, my grandpa was going through cancer, except I don't think he ever had to have chemo done. He just had to have surgeries and maybe radiation. I don't know for sure. It was rough. It changed a lot with our family. And luckily he got through it. He's good. He's been cancer free for a hot minute now. I think it's been like two, three years, maybe. I don't know exactly how long it's been. But our my relationship with him was really bad throughout then. And it didn't help that I lived with them. But luckily now we're a lot better. He actually made a comment how like we've gone like so long without fighting. And that was not a thing for me and him. We used to fight all the time. I mean, we were like at each other's throats, which sounds really weird because when you imagine like a relationship, like a typical relationship with your grandparents, specifically your grandpa, like that is not how you'd imagine it. But also them taking the parental role with some things uh, due, to this, due to the circumstances that also alters that so my family has never been the typical uh look on things like my grandparents are just as much parents to me as my biological parents who are just as much parents to me they're great i just got a set of two parents instead of like more well kind of more because i've had step parents in my life too but at the moment that's a weird situation with explaining having step parents at the moment is kind of complicated but I don't have like, it's just complicated. I'll just leave that at that. Um, but I do have like two sets of parents. Editing cat, I just wanted to jump in and say that I was trying to explain it like, it's kind of comparable to having step parents, like they raised you. So they like helped with raising me just as much as like maybe a step parent would. I don't have any like people that are in my life now I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the fact that my grandparents are just as much parents to me as my parents. And I don't currently have a step parent like that. But I'm also an adult now and have my own kids. So like, even if I were to have a step parent like that, it wouldn't be like that because I wouldn't be living with them. They would not be raising me. Like, it's just different now because I'm an adult, which is really weird saying. They're my parents, and I say, I always, like, emphasize grandparents because they're not just my grandparents. They're my parents that are grand. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds kind of goofy. So, I, I'm just going to explain what my grandma means to me. I think out of all the people in our family, I've always been closest to my grandma. It's always, like, we've always been inseparable. We fought, but we've been inseparable. Like, she's my best friend. We do not see eye to eye on majority of things, but I am literally like a mini her, <laughs> um, which is a good and a bad thing because all humans have habits that they probably should not pick up on, especially like being a different generation. I think she's like, what is it? Gen X? Gen X? No, I don't know, but I'm Gen Z, so I'm not even a millennial. Like, no, she's a baby, baby boomer, baby bloomer. <laughs> what, is, what is it, baby boomer? I think that's what she is. I think mom's Gen. No, she's a millennial. I don't freaking know. Anyways, Gen Z and baby bloomers are bloomers, boomers. God, I'm just, I can't even. <laughs> Whatever it is, those generations should not share the same personalities because obviously it's a different generation. So you need to grow from that. But we've always been really close, and that's kind of the point of this. So recently, I've had a lot of struggles. Anyways, so the timing of stuff was rough. I'm not going to get into all of it, just that like, I'm a teen mom, a single teen mom, and um, I've been working on getting my life together, which is really stressful in general. She got diagnosed with breast cancer. At first, we didn't even know that it was, we didn't know, I didn't find out about it because she kept it private until she knew more. Um, when I found out, she already knew that she had breast cancer. She would not have found out if it was not for my daughter. So the way you carry a baby, and specifically my daughter, is a very specific way that you do not carry anything else. Or at least that maybe you carry like a pet that way, but something she would not carry anything else that way. 
from carrying my daughter, she found this weird lump. And my aunt, my great aunt, had breast cancer twice. My great grandma, I'm very close with my grandma's side, at least compared to like all other family. My great grandma had lymph node cancer. I believe that's what it is. It's cancer of the lymph node, lymph nodes, which are all over your body. And I'm pretty sure she got it multiple times, maybe not. I don't remember the exact of it, but she did survive it. I think it's called lymphoma, something like that. And um, apparently it's super curable, despite the fact that you have lymph glands nodes. I Medical terminology, terminology in general, if you watch any of my pregnancy videos, <laughs> you'd know that I suck with terminology, which is ironic because I'm a nursing assistant and uh, was looking into going to nursing school. <sighs> I just haven't studied it is the problem. I'm not up to date on my uh, cancer terminology. She was like almost 97 when she passed away. It was the day before her 97th birthday. So that's pretty crazy to think of. I remember when I found out that my aunt was going to get surgery, I felt guilty as a little kid that I wasn't closer to her. And so I, ever since then, I feel like I've gotten closer to her. And she knows that. <laughs> Getting back to the point. So she had breast cancer. We don't know a ton of the details as far as, or I don't know if they know it yet, but whatever it is. So I think it can be hereditary or it can be... I don't know what causes it. I wish I knew more information on this. Hopefully I can post an update maybe or add information into this or something. But it can either be like in your family or it can be caused by something else. Okay, so there's a bunch of different types of breast cancer. And then obviously, like, I don't know that anyone knows the specifics as to what causes cancer. But what I was trying to say is like, if it's like an environmental cause or like you know, something within the makeup of your body or whatever, or if it's in your family and that's how you get it if that makes sense Ash at risk for it because you can still get it even if it doesn't run in your family which i didn't know until recently not like super recent but like within the past couple of years that's when i figured that out i always thought that it would have to run in your family but nope their brother also had a different type of cancer i don't remember which one it was but two or three out of the five siblings had cancers so far so Hopefully that's it. Not everyone's good and healthy and good, but you know, cancer is just horrible. And all the like, there's stuff that's like not cancer that's horrible too, obviously. I just, so anyway, she found that, that uh, lump. Well, the doctor initially told her that it's probably not anything like whatever. Then, and she was like, yeah, no, it's something like you're wrong. <laughs> so they had her checked out and Oh, turns out it was something. Well, then they did the biopsy because it kept like playing down and figured out that like that the next time she, they like, ah, it's a process. Okay, so like step two of the process, the doctor's like, okay, well, I'm not going to say what they're going to do because I was wrong last time. So then they figured out that it was cancerous and it was breast cancer. Okay, diagnosed. Well, then they go and do the surgery. They ended up taking out 20 plus lymph glands took out a big chunk of the tumor that was on her breast and usually they only take out a couple lymph glands I guess so lymph lymph nodes I'm sorry if I'm using the wrong terminology I'm not a nurse I'm not a doctor and I should have wrote this down this is kind of a spur of the moment idea because my kid is sleeping and I wanted to explain what has been going on well 11 of them turned out cancerous so they ended up diagnosing her with stage 3 cancer well, Friday she had a scan done and she found out this week that she's only, it's, it didn't spread anywhere else in her body. Luckily, it's just right now, stayed right there. And I really hope that it does not get any worse and that this process goes as smoothly as it can go. She's gonna have to have another surgery and pretty sure chemo and radiation, which I was really hoping that this wouldn't be a thing, but like, oh well, it's stage three, it could be much worse. Could be better but they definitely did not think it was going to be that bad the surgery is what made them find out that it was going to be bad so i guess i do really want to ask for some prayers or just positive vibes if that's not your thing to share the story and how important it is to get checked so you could not feel hers laying down you can only they said at the cancer center you can only find 50 percent of people that have cancer only get if 
can only feel it laying down. So I think it's like sitting up also have it checked. I just, it's so important to go to your annual appointments and get checked because if they wouldn't have found it when they did, it could have been so much worse. I mean, it was already stage three. So like, and they found, she, she gets it done nearly. She just had it done and it was fine. Then they did it within, I think it was a couple months ago. I don't even think it was a year ago that she had it done. Wrong. It had been a year, but that's not the point. It happened within a year. If she wouldn't have gone to a, her annual appointment, it would have progressed way worse and way quicker. The uh, mammogram, I believe is what it's called. So it can happen fast. Um, she is, I don't know if she would be comfortable with me saying her age, but she is in her 70s. So, and my aunt, I believe, was in her 50s. So they are not my age, so I shouldn't have to worry too much right now. But I was paranoid anyway, so I had them do like the full like feely feely thing to make sure I was good, but I was only doing it laying down. So I know next time to have her check completely. Anyways, I don't know. It kind of just depends. We might have to get testing done if it is something that runs in the family. I'm so sorry. This is all over the place. Ah, but she would not have found that when she did if it was not for holding my daughter. My daughter literally saved my grandma's life. Her cancer is as of right now, hopefully manageable. I will say, I always thought like, oh, well, you know, you should be thankful that it's manageable, but she can't do anything. <laughs> like, she is a working woman and she cannot work. She cannot do her hobby of like sewing and making stuff for my daughter, which is a problem because her birthday's coming up and I wanted her to make an outfit, but it's fine. She's living, she's doing okay, whatever. And I don't think this is going to mess with our relationship. I don't know though, cause who knows? I mean, everyone handles it differently, but I think she's handling it well. And I was really scared that even, even if it wasn't going to be terminal, which is at first what we thought it would be, like that it was gonna be too far when they told us the news, like when she was gonna have to get the scan done or when she got the scan done, um, we thought they were gonna give us like way worse news, but luckily, we're good and it's not so bad. My neighbor just drove by and probably saw me sitting in front of the window like a creep. That's embarrassing. So she's good, okay, just need prayers for recovery and just that it is good, that the process goes smoothly, doesn't come back, doesn't, doesn't get any worse than the situation is. And I'm so thankful that the situation isn't worse. I was just really scared that it would like, like ruin her life, even if it didn't take away her life. And it doesn't sound like it will. It's going to put a little bit of a damper on things, but hopefully we'll be back and ready to go and good to go soon. So that is basically what's going on right now. And again, I just asked for prayers and positive vibes and everything. Oh, so did I mention that it spread to her lymph glands? Well, the fact that both my grandma and aunt survived it also gives me hope. Um, it's just the fact that she kind of got hit with both and that it's stage three and everything. But so that's what's been going on. I took a little break from YouTube. It was like over a week, might be longer by the time I get stuff posted, but that's why I took my break. I have other stuff going on. It's just, it all hit me kind of at once and I just was not feeling motivated. And I don't know why I am now, but I just wanted to talk about it because I know others have gone through similar things and my heart goes out to you, even if it's not with cancer, but just like going through your parents being sick because they're not, like I said, it's not just my grandparents. They are my parents. Like, I don't know this completely ends I do want to add in that like it's going to be a hard recovery for her and like sometimes the different side effects and whatnot like it never goes back to normal so prayers for that too and um just get your annual appointment done go to like not just with this with everything get your checkups take care of your health because it's so important you never know when and appreciate life let's get deep here let's just appreciate what you have and your loved ones and your life you never know when things can be taken away from you simple things like being able to wear shirts that aren't buttoned up she can't even do that thank you so much for watching please send prayers and positive vibes our way specifically my grandma's way and my grandpa and mom who also are gonna have to help her like drive there every day and whatever else bye